Hello friends, Matt here. Today we're going to be looking at some quotes about how interesting everything is, and from a number of perspectives. One from a great scientist, one from a great writer, and another from a spiritual classic. And so we start with the scientist. A couple of quotes from him. Richard Feynman said, If you look closely enough at anything, you will see that there is nothing more exciting than truth. This quote really captures the essence of philosophy. In philosophy, we want to get to the truth of everything, right? What is the nature of this thing, of anything that we come in contact with, and most importantly, with ourselves, that thing with which we have the most intimate contact, and then, of course, with God as well. And as we pursue the truth about things, we will find that in each individual thing we look at, we're dealing with something much more than just some surface appearance. Feynman says, no matter what you look at, if you look at it closely enough, you are involved in the entire universe. For example, any individual thing, you have to ask yourself, well, what is it made of? What's the matter? What is the form and the essence of the thing from a Thomistic perspective? If you look at the material, where did that material come from? Right? Scientists think that all the material around us, except for the hydrogen and helium, came from the death of a star, a supernova, that threw all that material outward into the universe. And so we find that even the most boring thing we can look at, supposedly, turns out to be fascinating. And so G.K. Chesterton said one of my favorite quotes, There is no such thing as an uninteresting subject. The only thing that can exist is an uninterested person. If you get an email from me, you'll see this as my signature quote. Um, Peter Kraft has remarked that the general word for boredom is new. It does not exist in any pre-modern language. Because Everything that we look at is infinitely interesting and ultimately because it leads us to God. A famous spiritual work, The Imitation of Christ, which is usually attributed to Thomas Akempis, says this, If thy heart were right, then every creature would be unto thee a looking glass of life and a book of holy doctrine. Every single object we come in contact with in some way reveals to us something about God, his creativity, his love for us, his intelligence. And that's why in the end, it's an insult to ourselves and to God to say that anything is boring or uninteresting. If it turns out that we do find ourselves bored or uninterested, we have to recognize that the fault lies with us and not with the things that we're looking at. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.